Hello all you space engineers out there, Commander Kingfish here, and it is uh, day 54 I believe, I should have looked at that. Uh, I am back here on the frozen rock, and the good news is I've upgraded my system. I basically uh, got a new laptop and have been able to get it uh, all set up. Uh, it's got an i7. It's a MSI uh, Invicta, I believe is what it was, uh, or it's a Victor GP66HX. So it's got, uh, for the uh, uh, graphics card, it's got a uh, uh, NVIDIA uh, 3070Ti, and boy oh boy is it making a lot of difference. I've adjusted the uh, settings here in Space Engineer, and you should be able to see it as I'm walking around. Everything is such tremendously smooth that uh, I'm not used to that. <laughs> I've been playing everything on uh, uh, minimum or uh, medium, basically, and it was still struggling. So, yeah, so uh, a new uh, laptop and we're ready to go. So I was doing some off-camera work here. Uh, I got the kitchen area uh, at least I got the floor plan in and so today's uh, episode is to try to get the kitchen finished I also have been doing some work let's uh, go over here uh, I started laying out the control side which is going to have uh, a medical bay this is going to be a door uh, oh Go figure, the cat would have to decide to walk by. Uh, this is going to be a medical facility on this end. So this is the wall. I'll have this walled in down to here. So this will be a medical facility. The main control room is going to be here in the center. And then uh, I am going to put in back in over in this section, back over and in here, uh, like a computer room or a, uh, a data room, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but that's where I'll put in my uh, programming blocks and whatnot uh, and then start setting those up. So that's what's on tap for today uh, to get this kitchen facility completed and uh, set up and then that way we can move on over to the other side all right once uh, I get uh, some more of this all cleared out I'll uh, catch back up with you all here in just a little bit all right just to give you a little bit of an update I have gotten the uh, corridor here done uh, got uh, the uh, hallway in I got the lights adjusted and I've got a door on uh, and I've started to get the walls put up so if we come up here I've got this uh, well that's going to be the ceiling level and so I've got uh, blocks all the way around to the corner over here which uh, is protruding in from the so this on the other side of this wall here is the sleeping quarters and so the kitchen is uh, butting up against it and that's giving it a little bit of a corner in there uh, and so and you can see I've kind of got the uh, blocks in up there so I've got to finish getting the walls hollowed out or I want to get the walls up and then the ceiling in and get this all drilled out and while we are doing this I need to get a little bit of energy and then so once I get that done I can uh, start uh, laying out how I want the kitchen I think what I want to try to do is is build out uh, a kitchen with maybe with some uh, LCDs on the top that would uh, kind of appear to have like a menu on it or something like that and uh, that will be in 
maybe back over in this inset corner so I could uh, come out something like about here with those and then you would have like a way into it and then maybe have some LCDs up here with uh, the menus on it uh, something like that uh, but we'll see we'll see how that turns out and in this area here maybe some LCDs on the wall uh, that would kind of simulate uh, TVs and then there would be tables for sitting at and eating your meals so just a little update and that's what I'm kind of planning on here and that's what I'm working towards so once I get a little farther along I'll uh, catch back up with you all all right just a little bit of an update I uh, well I got my scaffolding all down here on the floor so I could reach the ceiling I've got the uh, rock all drilled out and I've got my ceiling blocks all in I just have to weld them all up uh, and then uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll get these all welded up I will uh, put uh, and then have the lighting in here and then I think it'll be pretty close time to uh, being able to start decorating this thing so we're closing in on it uh, still a little bit of uh, grinding and to do uh, I'm thinking about maybe something on the tops of these doors I've got a couple of them where they're kind of extruding out like that and I know that there's some blocks I don't know if they're on this one yeah see that one is too big for it but I think some of the steel blocks might be able to uh, go in there so I'll have to do some experimenting and take a look at that uh, anyway so that's where we're at once I get the ceiling all in and the scaffolding all out well I'll probably uh, hop back in when I'm ready to do the last block and take out the scaffolding so uh, I actually think I need to go get some more materials yeah, I need to get some more blocks and whatnot. So I'll catch back up with you once I get the blocks and I've get that ceiling in and we're uh, just about ready to, well, I wanna put the last block in. So see you in a bit. Okay, I am uh, just about to get the ceiling finished. I'm gonna have the uh, lighting. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and finish the ceiling out here. I've got the stuff to put in the lighting and I've kind of got an idea on where I'm going to place those. And so they are going to go in. Let's see here. The lights. One in and one in. So this is where the first light should go, I think. Six. And I guess we place them that way. It's not gonna matter. The one there. One there. And one there, I think. Yeah. And then if we, uh, let's rotate it. Every other block. that right uh, oh you know what that wasn't every other block let's put that one there and that one there and then we have to take this one out let's take that out there we go all right and then, so there's that one, that one, and then we'll put one in. Right here, I think. All right, this one right here. And then we'll come over, put one right there. One, two, 
to there. Oh, what do you mean I'm out? Oh, seriously? All right, let me go grab some more construction components. I thought I grabbed enough of that stuff. But, you know what? Actually, you know what? I grabbed enough for eight. And I think I'm going to end up putting nine in. Go figure, right? Uh, so, which also means I'm going to need another light bulb. Let's just do that. There we go. And then that should... I want the kitchen to be fairly well lit. Obviously, it's a dining area. Lots of light in there. Uh, so, the additional lights will really kind of lighten that up. And make that look pretty good. So, let's uh, get this last light in. Which should go... Oh, uh, you know what? I still... Right, right there right there but huh so again uh one two three uh three one two oh shoot let's go get one more and then we can get those lights in which will give us some light in there and then uh, it'll be time to start decorating but let's get this light and we can get those all built out and I can finish taking out the scaffolding and we should be in pretty good shape so let's uh, Let's get this last light in. Alright, so you will go right... Come on, turn. Right there. Alright. So we should be able to weld all of these up. There. Oh, crap. You know what? I put that one in... Uh, well, they're going to be different. They're not all the same. And that happens sometimes. Alright, so they're there. That gives it some uniqueness to it. Okay. Now let's see if we can capture all of these lights. This was the last one I put in right here. Alright, interior lights. So... Should be... Oh, that one... Okay, so there's that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. So, let's grab all three of these. And... With uh, the Lighting Profiles mod, all we gotta do is click load that. Now. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. That one. Okay. So, these four. And let's uh, load that. And let's see if we got them all. Turn that off. I think we did. I think we got all of them in there. Alright, well let's get this scaffolding out. And see how this is starting to shape up. Okay.
Okay, other than those lights are... Uh, I got those turned a little bit differently. Go figure. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. Alright, I tell you what. Once I start uh, getting some of the decorations laid out in here, I'll uh, catch back up with you all. All right, I think I'm close to having this decorated. I just got to weld everything up, but here's what I've got. So this is going to be a kitchen here, a kitchen here, a kitchen here. So you can have three different types of meal. You could have Chinese or Asian. You could have uh, uh, Cajun or uh, and then you could have seafood. Or something like that and of course these menus you know in the scheme of things can change uh, you know weekly or something like that this is a bar I got that here I got a planter here some crates back behind here this is where the servers will cook and serve the meals from some tables to sit and eat at and relax a couple of here corner uh, seat over here if you're doing a little bit of work and wanting to have a meal uh, TV up here uh, a TV over here a TV here and I framed the door in so we'll see how that turns out so let me finish finish this all up and then I think we're gonna be pretty close to calling it good for the day so uh, yeah, I'll be back with you here in just a little bit after everything's welded. Well, I have the uh, kitchen, I think, somewhat done. The kitchen dining area. Uh, we'll see how we like the colors. I tried to paint it a little bit to kind of break up the red. Uh, I'm not sure I left this one patch of red in the middle and kind of gave it a border just to kind of break up some of that red uh, I mean I don't know I might need to do something with the uh, walls and whatnot but we have uh, kind of a couch to sit uh, if you want to come in and watch TV uh, a place to eat over here on the side uh, some tables set up in here you got another corner like a little desk over here to work. We've got uh, kind of the bar, uh, space bar, so you can get your drinks right here. You got uh, three different kitchens, a little bit of storage capacity back here. Uh, I could have put some shelvings in. I didn't think about that. I might do that a little bit later. I tried to uh, the entrance, brighten that up a little bit. I bordered that in, so I think uh, uh, I think it's not looking too bad. So I think for now, until I can uh, figure out or remember how to do the uh, images into the uh, LCDs, which I've done them before, it's just been a while, so I just got to get those figured out, and I will uh, get uh, get something like a menu set up on these here, and then uh, maybe some and then uh, something on the TV screens, uh, a couple of couple of different uh, uh, whatever newscast something. So uh, yeah, I think uh, we're just about to wrap this thing up. Let's go back upstairs. So that's uh, well. Well, first off, let's go over here. So the next step is getting starting to get this area all built out, and so maybe. Maybe what I work on the next time is the medical facility. Get that all built out. And then we're going to be kind of closing in on getting this uh, underground base portion done. So I don't, don't even remember if it's daylight or dark outside. Let's go and take a look. See what it looks like outside up here. And we kind of see how well the... Uh, the new uh, monitor or the new uh, laptops working uh, pretty pretty 
darn nice, actually. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's been uh, performing pretty flawlessly. It does get hot. I got to keep it uh, uh, keep it air cooled a little bit. And uh, but from the standpoint of playing video games and editing and whatnot, pretty damn good. And you can kind of see all the textures. Nothing's popping in late. Uh, that sort of thing. So anyway, that's uh, that's that. And I'll try to put some specs down in the uh, comments section, or not in the comments, but in the description area on what my uh, laptop is, if you're interested. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap up uh, this episode. If you like the video, please hit that thumbs up. Uh, it really helps the video out a lot. And if you like the uh, channel, please subscribe. That really helps the channel out a lot. And so all you space engineers out there, keep building away. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.